going to have fun and you realize that this is an experience for me to recognize more of myself. Everything. Everything that you decide to do. Most souls, or at least within this 3D or third dimensional energy, we feel as if when we make decisions, it's either it's a it's a it's a pass or fail approach. It's a pass or fail situation. We either and once again that caters to um, us measuring our worth when we feel like it's a pass or fail thing. And a lot of times we do it not because we want to do it. Because, but because the ego has this feeling that it needs to prove something, or prove self, or show others our value and how important or skilled we are at a particular task. Of course, this is distorted in feeling that we need to prove ourselves or we go into things attempting to win, right, or prove something. We can let that go. Yeah, of course, the ego self. That's that divine masculine and this insecurity wanting to pound on his chest and show everybody uh, what it is. And it's like, you ain't got to do all that. You can just be God if you wanted to. You can just chill and come and enjoy the experience and have fun and realize more of yourself through the experience. You can do that. There's nothing to prove here when you're, when you're confident already, when you love yourself already. You can't fail. When you love yourself already, when you've accepted yourself already, there's nothing to prove. I cannot fail. I came here to have fun. I came here to experience more of myself. This is something different. I've never done this before. I've never worked with these individuals before. This is a great opportunity for me to discover more of myself through working with others, through this particular experience. And of course, I get to have a good time. I, I might get to learn something new or participate in something that I've never done before. You can't fail when you take that approach when you enter into any experience. You can't. <laughs> the mind is looking for recognition. Confirmation and validation. Want somebody to pat him on the head or give him the trophy and all this? It's like you ain't got to. You ain't got to do all that. When I realized I was experiencing myself, <laughs> I have no opponent. I need to. I don't need to watch out for nobody. I don't need to tap dance for nobody. I love myself. I won. I can't lose. I can just absolutely D. I could just be God. And I can be God for my brothers and sisters and the plants and the animals and the insects. I can love on them. I already won. What you mean? What? This is hot. I wake up every morning and my song on. What you mean? I get more beautiful every day. What are you talking about? I already won. Absolutely. Period. I already won. <laughs> so why not have some fun? Creating some beauty, providing some service, working with my brothers and sisters. Why not? Let's try it. Let's see what's going on. I get to dig deep through experience. I get to love on myself every day. <laughs> All that. I get to do that. I already won. This recognition and validation and confirmation thing, listen, um, that's a rocky ground to stand on. That's pretty dangerous. Of course, if we give in to that and we enjoy the stimuli of people patting on our head and telling us we did a good job, oh, you did it right, you the man, you the man, you the girl, word, you the girl, right? 
That is, that is the easiest path into being emotionally manipulated because we can we, we become dependent on this energy, on other people uh, giving us the trophies. Like, what are you talking about? Hey, uh, you can't... <laughs> 